Well, yes, we're recording. I look a bit of a wreck at the moment because I haven't shaved. Anyway, it's time for the Boaty review of Encore Plus number four. Let me do this up tight a bit, a bit shaking around. Right, let's start off in the bedroom. Okay. Nice little light switch there. And we have another light switch there. Okay, so here we go. I've got the engine on, by the way, so you can hear the noise. Might sound louder than what it is, but anyway, this is the nice double bed. Very nice indeed, very comfortable. Okay, you've got lovely blue lights out there, which are worked by these here. Little blue lights out there. Looks very nice in the evening. You've got your storage here, nice big cupboard. Lots of things down here. See, I'm doing it as kind of lived in boat. Most people do it when it's all tidy. I'm doing it as lived in. So there we are. There is the bedroom. You do have lots of storage down here. You've got your cupboards, you've got your drawers there. Okay, let's go into the bathroom, right, or the head. Here we are in the head. This is the bathroom. We do have a light switch there, which we pull. So You've got your shower space down here, plenty of room for a shower. You've got your toilet there. Again, no, this toilet does have a rather small holey in it. So when you do flush it, sometimes, you know, you need to give it a little push to get your stuff down. But it's, um, excuse me for saying it like that, but uh, it can get a bit stuck. Um, but it does work. That's the only, that's the worst thing I would say about this boat. You've got your shower here. Nice big mirror there, as you can see my hand in it. So the shower works really well. You've got nice lights there, nice and bright in the night time. Now let's turn this off again. Pull the cord and we're off. Okay, let's come out of here. Shut the door. You've got more light switches here. So you've got a single light there, which is nice in the night time. Into the galley or the kitchen right here we go you have a nice four hob cooker the only thing is though like with this frying pan you put on this hob you the handle keeps hitting this so you're going to have to either put it on something like this and make sure there's room it depends if you've got a big frying pan right i've got a quite a big frying pan here um okay but you can cook it like that it's absolutely fine works really good Nice oven down there. Um, more storage down there. Oven and grill there. In here, all your usual things, plates, saucers, and cups. I've put some stuff there on the side. You've got all this to put some stuff on, and you do have a microwave up here, which is very nice indeed, with a book on how to use it. So, that's your microwave. Notice Ritz crackers, um, we do have hobnobs and we do have Blitz Kitchen Roll as they do the job well. Okay, there we are. So you've got plenty of room in here. Now, this is your living area or the cabin or whatever you want to call it. It's nice and roomy, plenty of room in here. You've got lovely twin double doors, very big doors, but actually it's chucking it down with rain at the moment. I was going to go outside and show the uh, exterior of the boat, but um, I might get pictures of that. But so, let's go through here. You do have more storage space there, but that's where the Barnes Brinkcraft mugs are kept. Lots of storage space there. This does come out into a double berth. Apparently this table somehow does fold, go flat onto the floor, but I have absolutely no idea how it's done. But there we are, because I don't need to worry about that. But if you want to, fine. It's more of a two berth boat, this, and it's on their elite class. So, you've got all this here. Alarms, lots of room. Now, the good thing is, it does have, when it says plus, what's plus about it? Well, they have upgraded the bathroom, not massively, but the more, most upgrade here is on the helm. Now, look at this. So, let's sit down here and have a little chat about this. So you've got your, feels like I've been in a pilot, you know, a plane. You've got up for forward, down for reverse. At the moment we're in neutral. When both of these lights are on, we're in neutral. So that's pretty good. 
I like that. You've got your bow thrusters, very important, but they are extremely noisy on this boat, and I don't know why that is. You've got your usual rev counter, fuel, and water level. And I've I've had a shower already, and I'm washing up and whatever, and it's hasn't gone down much at all, so I hope that is right. You do have lovely steering wheel, really nice covered steering wheel. Push button start there, on and off, nice and easy there. Wipers, horn, I'm not sure what that one is, I've tried it, but I don't know if that doesn't work or anything, I'm not sure. Anyway, so we got onto this, now we've got the digital um, display here, this is really good. This tells you a lot of things, obviously you can see the battery is 100%, engine temperature is okay at 76 degrees celsius engine oil 26 bar engine oil is fine now if you want to look at other information on it you press the touch screen and there we go this gives you your rev counter um, and it also tells you information about driving the boat press touch and we go on to this now you can have a look got this menu here so let's go with night mode you don't need to worry about instructions instructions in here tell you all about your bow thruster how to start the engine which I've just told you it's very simple so push start st uh, start on oh, a button for start and stop but it tells you how to use it if you're not too sure press the next one the bunk bed this tells you about how to lower down this table over here now it does say that there is a button somewhere around here which lowers the table but I can't find it and I don't know how to do it but then again I'm not worried because I don't need to do it tells you how to do the showers tells you how the water is heated up obviously we know it heats up by the engine being on so does the warm air heating in here which is extremely good I'll show you that in a minute um, and also there is an immersion in here if you want to do it but I wouldn't use that normally because it uses up the battery a lot there is shore power here as well if you want to use that so we press next and that's it I think yeah that's it no more back to the menu then you can look at the water so here tells you all about how the heating is or how the water is warmed up which you know you can switch on the water heater on or off if you want which we're not going to do that and it's telling me there that the heating is off so we go back it's going to water we just done that one what a plonker um, power right we're going to the power this tells you about the batteries normally recharged by running the engine which most of us will know but if you not don't know it's nice to know and it gives you an idea of how the batteries charge and the readout dial which I will show you in a minute um, so that's something interesting to look at more info tells you more look you got the batteries 100% your battery volts the amps the battery temperature alternator charging battery charging sure so you're going to alternator charging nothing happens on this it's just telling you so all you geeks who like all the technical stuff you can look at all this um, inverter reset hold for five seconds which you're not going to do because it's all on and then back to the engine which is normally what's on display when you are driving this will move up and down when I use the throttle and uh, that will tell you if you're going at the top this is neutral at the moment but normally it will tell you if you're going forward or backwards but you would know that anyway wouldn't you so quite an interesting little dashboard there gives you a lot of information doesn't tell you the depth um, which I thought it might do but it doesn't tell you anything about that okay let's move over to this here we have your heater press that keep that in warm air comes out absolutely lovely USB lovely now what I love about this is this here this is your radio but it's also got Bluetooth on it and I've connected my phone to this and it is brilliant because I can play all my music as I'm driving the boat all on my phone through Bluetooth which is so much better than what you used to have I mean most probably other boats have this but I've never had a higher boat which has had the Bluetooth connection on it and it's fantastic I think that's really good got your TV down there which is on which is fine when I've turned the, the speaker up also if you want you do have a charger for your phone so if you want to charge your phone up get your phone 
just rest your phone on top of it and if you get it in the right position they are 80% charge it will start charging your phone for you so it's a wireless charger for your phone if you've got a modern phone if not I mean it's quite slow I will tell you now it does take some time to um, get your wireless charging see it even says it on the phone if you can read it on here wireless charger anyway but what I normally do I just plug it in through the plug over here plug my phone in and I get my phone charged a lot quicker as that's a fast charger but yes so you've got your wireless charger there if you want and the best thing which I love on this is this Bluetooth here absolutely brilliant warm air heating um, right let's go outside have a quick look at the boat outside it stopped raining I think it has let's go out now we're in Dillham at the moment let's come down here okay let's have a look at the outside of the boat so there's the outside of the boat Brinks Encore Plus number four you do have an electric winch as well I will show you that in a second there we are quite nice here at the moment it's not that pretty, not cold out, but it has been raining on and off, on and off. Okay, so there's the back of her. Nice tinted windows, which is good. Very, very boggy on the ground here. So I'll get back on the boat. Now I will show you something actually, it depends what you want. You do have some large steps here to walk down large steps to get into the back of the boat okay so be aware of this you do have quite steep steps here to get in through the back door and if you want to get in through the front you can walk down here as I'm doing and again you do have kind of steep steps here to go down so you know and this is quite a big step here right electric winch forward back lovely okay it's nice and easy now the sliding roof if you remember whoops and he slipped there if you remember last year I took out last October I took out um, raw velvet number two the roof was really hard to open this simple nice and easy nice and easy it slides it's really simple to do hardly any effort at all in that and the other side is the same okay you've got your speakers up here which are really great when you put your Bluetooth phone on okay so I think that's about it for this boat at the moment if I've missed out anything do apologize but you do have a nice big big size fridge here very big fridge small freezer but a very big fridge so that is the boaty review for Brinks Encore Plus 4. I'll leave you with a little view of here. I don't think my wristwatch is working to turn the camera off like I used to. So I'm going to have to use the button on top. Let's hope I do it correctly. See you later. Tutty bye.